Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to serialize and deserialize XMN file and we're gonna start from a simple one and later on will be more complicated as you can see and the third one will be uh, advanced when, when you're gonna have for example a list of uh, elements so don't forget to subscribe and thumb up let's start Oh, I just want to add that uh, in this video you're gonna learn also how to read from um, many um, from many XML files when you got. So let's start. All right, now we're gonna try the serialize. Really simple uh, XML file. So first we need to uh, create the same classes in our code. So we're gonna start from um, class document order so I'm gonna mm, create a, a two folders first folder models I'm gonna keep there my classes and a second one will be a folder called services I'm gonna keep there my method methods all right so Let's create first class and document order. Of course, you can you can't and create class like that. So you need to add a dash or whatever you want. And it will be public. Of course, it you need to add here an attribute serializable. And as you can see. In our code, this class got that uh, sign, so we need to our desalize need to understand and need to have the same name. How to do it? Um, really simple. So we need to just just XML type have here and and get and pass here. And the exact uh, name as you have in your XML file. So this one. All right. Uh, let's create a second class called order header. Uh, second class. All right. And assign public. Serializable and this and in that document class we, we're gonna have a property so the property or the header because this is how it works so property Also here we need to have um, an attribute because this order header uh, calls like that with that sign pause so just type here XML element and it will be order header. Alright, so in order header class we need to add Two properties. One of them will be string or the number. And second one, order date. Type data. Let's go to code. I'm gonna call it XML. Of course, public. And we're gonna have um, one method, the serialized method, which 
little uh, document document order Inside here, we need to pass our path when we keep uh, our XML file, our files. So I'm gonna have it just here. So I'm just gonna put a path. So you need to pass the name of XML file. I've got it like test three. XML. Alright, nice. Now we need to deserialize. Serialize XML file. Now we're gonna serialize object our uh, document order to XML file, and we're gonna save it on our computer. So, public serialize, serialize, and I'm gonna pass string path. What are we gonna say our Basically, copy that line from the CLIs, and you now we're using statement. Yeah. Our 
right. Yeah, still right. Uh, no, right. Mm, I'm gonna pass. So far, so good. And right now, we need to just save. So, service. And path. And our um, document order. So, we need to pass as well document order. That's it. And let's check it how it works. Uh, so we got XML, dot serialize, and we need to pass a string path. Uh, so it will be. I think let's check our file. So as you can see we got uh, document one with our XML file. We done it. Right, last thing what we're gonna do it will be uh, read multiple values from one folder. I mean XML files. So it is different ones, as you can see. I'm gonna not deserialize all three of them at once. So how to do it? Public this document order deserialize all. list our list. 
like I would list. So good. So XML serializer. Add. Command mm. order. Oh, sorry. Wrong. Just like that. And here will be serialize, deserialize. three items and we got the order date, order number and the second one yeah so it means that it works all right so thank you for watching and I think this is gonna be a part two of this video so see you soon and take care